Hello and welcome to the news round on AN24 TV. I am Emmanuel Ijeola and these are the top stories. Akre Dulu declares seven days money for our church victims. Tinubu donates 50 million naira to our shooting victims, 25 million naira to Catholic Church. Oshibaju pays condolence visit to our shooting victims. National Assembly workers block complex gate over minimum wage. This and more after the break. Following terrorist attack on a church at Owo in Nondo State that left many worshippers dead, several others injured on Sunday. The state governor, Uluwaro Timia Kredolu, has declared a seven-day mourning for victims of the attacks 24 hours after the tragedy occurred in the state. Akre Dolu also instructed that Nigeria flags at the state house in Akure and other public facilities across the state should be at half-mast within the period. The national leader and frontline presidential aspirant of the ruling All Progressives Congress, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinobu, has donated 50 million naira to our shooting victims and an additional 25 million naira to the Catholic Church. Ondo State Governor Uluwaru Timeakiri Dolu announced Tinobu's donation on Monday during the APC national leader's visit to our. Tinobu, who is the leading APC presidential aspirant on Monday, left delegates, chieftains, and other members of the APC that had arrived in the country's seat of power for the party's presidential primary for Ondo State to visit the victims of yesterday's government attacks. Tinobu, during his visit to Owo, met with Governor Akere Dolu, traditional rulers, particularly the Olowo of Owo Kingdom, Oba Ajibade, Badegeshi, Ogunye, and others to sympathize with them over the incident. 50 million for our two software, I'm a pony, and it's a pony, and it's a farapani, confiscate or drama, and a lady church number that to listen in a low machine. Still on Odo massacre. The vice president, Yemi Oshibajo, was reported to have left Abuja to Ondo State, where worshippers were heinously attacked yesterday, resulting in many casualties. This was made known by his spokesman, Professor Lao Lua Kondi. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari, while reacting to the incident, said only demons from the underworld would have conceived and carried out the attack. Buhari condole with the families of the deceased, the Ondo State government, and the Catholic community. Ondo State Governor Rotimi Akredolu said his administration will hunt down the perpetrators of the attack. The building of the National Assembly has been inaccessible as a group of workers under the auspices of Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria have barricaded the main entrance of the complex over unpaid dues. The aggrieved workers who are staff of the National Assembly and National Assembly Service Commission had on Friday warned about the commencement of an indefinite strike on Monday, which is stated for today. They are requesting the payment of areas of minimum wage, leave grants and other allowances. The management of the National Assembly were also accused of reneging on memorandum of understanding to fully implement the revised condition of service and the training and retraining of staff. They have also directed all their members to stay at home from Tuesday in front runs of their indefinite strike. And now on sports. Super Eagles and Napoli striker Victor Sime will only join the English Premier League team that can offer him a Champions League. This comes as Liverpool have been informed by Napoli's president, Aurelio Di Laurentiis, that the Super Eagle start will cost 100 million euro. Liverpool are set to lose both Divock Origi and Sadio Mane this summer. It is also believed that Manchester United have requested for information on a possible or move to Old Transford multiple times. 
The Nigerian striker started 26 games in all competitions for Napoli last term and directly contributed 18 goals and 6 assists. And that's the news this hour. You can join us on all our social media platforms showing on the screen.